Hey, how's everybody doing this week? Welcome back to Midweek Update. Wanted to talk to you about a couple of things. First off, let's talk about COVID, okay? Because it's still here. It's not going anywhere. In the early days of COVID, I saw a diagram, this one to be specific. I saw that and I gotta be honest with you, I kind of freaked out. I have a lot of problems with my sinuses and I didn't want something in there poking my brain. Ugh. So when I found out I had to have a COVID test in order to have an upcoming procedure, I was not happy. To say I was anxious would be putting it lightly, but I'm here to tell you that the process was so easy, simple, and not bad at all. And I made a big deal about nothing, which is really on brand for me. So let me tell you, it took over a week to get that appointment. The, the healthcare industry, they're working so hard and procedures and things are changing daily for them. So this is to be expected. Expect delays, but they will get to us, okay? So finally got that appointment and it's actually a drive-through that they have set up with cones and tents. So uh, I pull up, there's, an, uh, there's a guard holding a sign that says, stay in your vehicle and do not roll down your window unless instructed. Got it, cool. Then I pull up to the tent, I pull out my ID, show them the ID through the window, they check me in, then they just move me along. I get to the place where I'm actually gonna be taking the test and start to explain all my medical problems with my nose. And then she shows me the swab and says, I'm just going inside your nose. Just, you know, she's like, it's nothing like the, the pictures that you've seen that go all the way back. And I was like, let's do this. So really not a big deal at all. I was in and out in less than five minutes because our healthcare workers are awesome. So if you have to go take a COVID test for any reason, because you're an essential worker, or maybe you were exposed, I hope it's not because you have symptoms. Really hope that you're doing okay out there. But if you have to go get a COVID test, just know it really isn't a big deal. And also, they are randomly doing cheek swabs. So either way, it's not terribly invasive and it's really quick. So don't be a nervous Nelly like me, okay? All right, now here's the tough part. We've got a lot going on in our country right now. And the last thing anybody needs is one more white person trying to white explain the black experience. Let me tell you something, I don't know what they've gone through and I will never understand I've experienced struggles because of my weight. I'm an actor. I've lost parts because of my weight. I, I haven't even been considered for certain roles because of how I look. I'm in my 40s, so there's a little bit of ageism out there. I am infertile. And if I told you some of the things people have said to me because I couldn't have children, you would be shocked. Or, or maybe not, maybe. <laughs> maybe you're cynical and wouldn't be. I'm an adoptive parent, so people assume certain things about that whole process. Not to mention that my kids do have some special needs. And let me tell you, when there are certain behaviors people just assume things and are not afraid to express their judgment on you publicly in the line at the checkout of the grocery. Ugh. But even all of that does not hold a candle to what our brothers and sisters of color experience on a daily basis because of the color of their skin. 
So I just want to urge you to not criticize the rioting or gathering for protests. We do not understand because we have not experienced it. So now is the time to keep our mouths small and our ears big and show our support. How can we show support? Well, by asking questions, by asking what can I do, by telling them that you love them and that you support them and that you're trying to educate yourself. All right. I think I'm gonna get off my soapbox. We have to do better. We have to. Okay. Be safe out there, everybody. I love you all. See you right here next week and Midweek Update.